Then there are also a couple of um, areas um, where things are happening behind the scenes and are a little bit less coupled to the end user interactions with mm -hmm. our website mm -hmm. and with our, our platform services. Um, so for example, I mentioned the data infrastructure team that I work with. That team is responsible for um, warehousing the log data and making it easily available to um, for for generating reports. Mm -hmm. If we're trying to generate a report for an advertiser to see um, how many clicks they got mm -hmm. on their advertisements, how many impressions they received, how many distinct users saw the impression saw the advertisement, mm -hmm. how many distinct users clicked. Mm -hmm. How much money, you know, this is how we run our, our, our books, making sure that we are charging people correctly and mm -hmm. so forth. All of that is happening on um, the Hadoop stack, um, which is uh, our giant data warehouse um, holding all of the logs data. And we have a couple of different um, uh, technologies that we use to, to reliably get data into the data warehouse and then to reliably query that data warehouse using things like um, Hadoop, which is a map, an open source MapReduce framework that we are big contributors to, mm -hmm. as well as um, Hive, which is a SQL-like query language mm -hmm. that um, transliterates into uh, uh, MapReduce queries on that store mm -hmm. um, and then produces results for both internal customers as well as for pipelines that generate reports that are then going to be shown um, mm -hmm. to our advertising or platform right. partners. Our right. partners are a very important part of everything that Facebook does. Sure. The Facebook ecosystem is way bigger than mm -hmm. just um, the, the site that we built ourselves. Sure. So that infrastructure really enables us mm -hmm. to deliver the reports that we need right. to to our partners. So